fish smell. Alright, so now we're on the outside area of the pirate fortress. It's nighttime, so it's easier to get to move around, but remember how I got that stone mask? And that's how it's very, very useful? Well now, as in as in everybody already knows, no matter what we do, these pirates aren't gonna do jack to us because I mean I can ride on this boat with her and she's not gonna catch me. And normally she'd throw you right over that iron gate if they catch you. They're not gonna do anything. I can get up. No, you can't slash. I always thought you could slash them. You can shoot them with arrows and it'll knock them down. The other way to do this is then shoot one with an arrow and then just kind of kind of do some stealth swimming with the Zoro and swim underwater. Um, I prefer the boat ride though because there are some evil fishes in there and I don't like wasting my magic to kill them, so I like just using a boat ride. Alright, you got a switch here. That's a Goron switch. One of the few Goron switches in the game. Alright, that opened this little port right over there. As you can tell, there's some treasure chests all around here. My screen keeps blacking out. Uh, all those are filled with uh, just uh, rubies. And like I said, I have way too much rubies to begin with, so I don't need them. Make sure not to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get caught if you dive too close uh, to the pirates, so make sure just to be careful when you do that. Other than that, just keep on swimming. Swimming, swimming, keep on swimming, swimming. I think there was a Spongebob song on or something like that. By the way, it's Thanksgiving when I'm recording this. In case any of you were curious. Thanksgiving this year is also on my birthday, so happy birthday to me. In case any of you care. But you guys don't care. All you guys care is that I get a video up. You guys are ruthless. Alright. Little underwater puzzles. I, this this whole puzzle doesn't really even bother me because it's just it, it just feels so cool. It's just a, such a cool area in the game, in my opinion, anyway. No super, super, super. In case you guys are wondering how to get this chest right here, that's the area you gotta surface in to get it. But it's just rubies. I know I said I wasn't going to bother with those, but there was another LP here who uh, couldn't figure out how to get that treasure chest, and I just kind of wanted to not rub it in his face because he won't watch this ever, but I just wanted to show that I know how to get it, even if he doesn't. <sighs> I, I really needed not have a feud with that LP here. My fans would get torn apart by just like his casual fans. <laughs> And I am one of his fans, like I said. I love his LPs. Enough about him, though. I'm I'm sick with him. Uh, oh, make sure you click A to surface. All right, watch out for those little metal pipes. But when you are, like, your natural reaction is just to swim above them like a smart kid. But what's even more dangerous is if that water current blows you out. It'll blow you out of this little mini, mini dungeon. And that, if I my friends, is much, much worse. Than just taking a couple hard piece damage. All right, there's some more rubies back there in that chest, but we don't need them. And we're just gonna fly right over here. I'm gonna take off the Zoro mask. Bust out our Goron mask. And this is just everyday stuff. You guys know the drill. Make sure you guys are quick, though. Oh, no! Get in there! Oh, barely! And we got a piece of heart. You got a piece of heart. You've collected two pieces so far. Collect two more to extend your life energy. Like I said, don't worry about, uh... Don't worry about losing any, uh, heart pieces, because you're gonna pick up a piece of heart right there. Yeah, get out of that door. Alright, we're gonna put our Goron mask away. And we're gonna get back out our uh, arrows. We haven't used fire arrows in a little bit. There's gonna be a fire arrow puzzle right around here. We 
don't worry if you guys are missing him because there are going to be a few fire arrow puzzle things and yeah. Uh. Oh, careful. Make sure you slow down here. Alright, this one's the exact opposite. You want to slow slim right there or else you'll get blown out of the temple. Um, yeah, there are going to be some fire arrow puzzles in the water temple, as confusing as that is. But you will have to use fire arrows in that one. I mean, no, I don't think you have to, but it helps a lot. We could have used the arrows for that, by the way. Make sure to jump down really quickly, because if you're not careful, you can get hit into those. Right up here. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. I, I guess eating turkey just made me sleepy. Man, I blew all that stuff up and still made it through. I want to check out this telescope. Though. And it's just a telescope for the next area. If you didn't have the stone mask, this would be a really good area to strategize. Uh, we had the cheater's mask, I mean the stone mask, so yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Right. Open this door right up. And this puts us back outside. Pants They brought back the turkey. I'm gonna go eat some more of that. I wonder if they ate my ice cream cake. Because me and my girlfriend had to leave the, uh, Thanksgiving party early, and we had my ice cream cake over there. I mean, it literally we had to leave before my ice cream cake was eaten. So, you know, we didn't do like the happy birthday because we had to leave early because she had to go to her Thanksgiving. So, I don't know if they did my happy birthday cake without me or not. I don't know if that's sad or not. <laughs> but oh well. There better be at least a piece left for me, though. And they can look at you, but don't worry, they can't get you. As long as you don't do anything overly stupid, like take off your mask, you'll be fine. No, I don't want an Apple software update right now. Jesus, my iTunes pops up and is like, do you want to sign up a Apple software update and turn into the human centipede? No, I did not want to do that. South Park for the win, by the way. Um, for speedrunners, really quickly, um, if you stay right here you can skip this cutscene and there's like a really weird angle you can shoot your arrow and you'll be able to skip this cutscene right here just for little speedrunners right now I don't know I don't know how many of you would ever consider speedrunning in Zelda I mean I'm pretty knowledgeable of the Zelda universe and I mean I think a speedrunner a speed run would be too much for even me I've been waiting for you I can't do a girl's voice. My my voice is too deep. So I'll do my best. I've been waiting for you. And did you find the rest of the eggs? No, 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 but that's Becca. What are you trying to pull here? If people hear the great pirates have lost the treasure they stole, we'll be the laughing stock. Yeah, yes, yes, but Avil. The sea is strangely murky, and we are attacked by giant sea snakes. <laughs> oh, is that what they're calling it? Silence! That's why the Zoros can't send for any help! Now, that the eggs are gone, the Zoros should be frantically searching for them. If we don't hurry, the Zoros will get them before we do. There are four eggs here now. Hurry and go find the other three before the sea snakes eat them. And go! Understood. Don't wait. Come give me a hug. We don't leave depressed. The Zora, the Zora eggs are uh, only clue. They're in the dragon cloud floating over the bay. If what you're saying is true, the strange masked one says is true. And if we can get our hands on the treasure that lies sleeping in the temple of the dragon cloud, then we can spend the rest of our lives the good life. So get a good move on. Find them now. Understood. All right. Basically, what they're saying is, um, uh, Skull Kid helped them out, told them that the eggs can help them get into the temple, and there was treasure in there. And there's no treasure in there. Nothing worth that much money anyway. Um, uh, get some arrow pickups right there. Uh, just real quick. 
You can go on Zazzle.com and you can get a picture of NCS, like right here, while you stone mass through these cages. I said that's interesting. From all my NCS fans right here. What we're gonna wanna do is shoot that behead. The bitches be freaking out! And that room right down there, that means that cleared out. And you might be asking me, Dizzy, why'd you even bother clearing it out if you have the stone mask? Because this is the only room that the stone mask will not really work in. Um, they will catch you and you won't be able to do anything about it. I mean, there are some other guards later that could see through the stone mask, but this is the only room that the stone mask will just outright fail and will cause you to be thrown out automatically. You find the hook shot, use the grapple and pull yourself up, and this is the item that I've been referring to for like the last two episodes, or probably like the entire game pretty much. I love the hook shot. Uh, it looks so much cooler in Majora's Mask than any other Zelda game. Much, much better than some dumb claw shot. Who wants a claw shot? The hook shot's where it's at. And we got the first of our Zoro egg. It doesn't look very healthy, so they might want to be pretty quick about it. I just realized I've got 30 minutes already on this recording. Like, sweet jeez. Mm, I'm gonna throw, throw this stone mask on real quick. We're getting pretty close to our 1 a.m. time limit. Or not 1 a.m., 2 a.m. What do I think? I have plenty of time. Now that you have one egg, we only have two bottles, so we, uh, wait, how many bottles do we have? Yeah, we only have two, so, uh, we don't have to really worry, or we can't get all three eggs that are here, or four eggs that are here, because, uh, only lack of two bottles, so we'll have to leave and come back. Yes, you can destroy these guards with the sword. And here's the first room that you will not be able to uh, use the stone mask in. If you don't have the stone mask on, this is what she says normally. HALT! <laughs> it takes courage to come thieving in a pirate's fortress. I'm going to love doing this to you. Whoa! Romani, watch out! Or not Romani, Creamia, watch out! Careful! These guards will automatically throw you out if you get hit by a certain attack. Get him to a corner. And rape him. Oh. Ugh, don't think it ends here. If you could have done that, why wouldn't you have done that from the beginning? And you always know which way to go because the torches are the way you want to go. Ugh, that giant fish does not look healthy. Or good. Let's move that there. Get our Zoro mask out. Put on the Zoro mask. Oh, no. The best way, just magic for the win. And because I can't resist treasure. Oh, dude, what? I can't resist treasure. That is totally lagging out right there. Yeah, we got 20 rubies. How awesome is that? 20 rubies. Can you believe that, guys? 20 rubies. Aren't we the most lucky Zelda player there ever was? That we found 20 rubies? Oh, good thing they put that hidden inside a deep sea aquarium. Don't want anybody stealing your 20 rubies now, do they? Of course, I'm. I am terribly sarcastic. Alright, now that we are, uh, have our bottles full of, uh, deep sea, uh, Zora eggs. We're gonna want to head out of here. We're gonna go to the Zoro Cape actually. I want to. I want to see what happens if we show him to Evan. Cause Evan, I don't know what happens actually. I always just take him straight to the deep sea lab, and I want to see what happens. But uh, first, I'm gonna actually save it as this owl statue. Cause my, I don't think my computer can take any more recording footage at the moment. And there's some ice cream cake up there that is definitely calling my name. So I will see you guys all in a bit. Probably in the same episode. Maybe in the next one. But see you guys till then.